My apologies for not doing this earlier. Yeah, I know I promised to, but the last Paul comic from Michel Rabagliati that I had to read hits much too close to home for me, so I just couldn't finish reading it. Actually, after some pages, I figured out the direction that it will take. Heck, it's already in the title and in the blurb on the back cover, and um, I just couldn't go on. The Song of Roland focuses, says the blurb on the back cover, it focuses on the life and death of the father-in-law of Rabagliati's alter ego Paul. My mother-in-law died recently and, like Roland in the book, she was the center of our family. A very kind soul, if there ever was one, and it still hurts thinking about it, that she's not longer here with us. I know. People die, and that's the way we all end. On the penultimate panel, we're still um, around, riding our horse on that merry-go-round called life. And on the next panel, we're gone. And that's it. Deal with it. But I knew that Rabagliati wouldn't let me off the hook so easily with cheap sarcasm. For his comics are never sarcastic or cynical but very truthful and right at the heart of our human nature and being. He could send his alter ego character Paul fishing with his family in, yes, Paul goes fishing or joining the scouts in, Paul joins the scouts and distill it into a gripping, compelling and emotional roller coaster of a comic. So I was a bit afraid of what the song of Roland will do with me. But now I've read it, and even if this book left me in tears more than once, it made me smile and laugh out loud as well. All these Paul comics are hardly disguised autobiographical comics. So they live and feed from the keen observations of Rabagliati. He doesn't merely protocol life, but focuses on the essence the funny parts, the uplifting and the disturbing parts, but never in, a, in an exhibitionistic or voyeuristic way, always cutting to the essence of what it means to be alive, to be human. The Paul comics did remind me initially of the Antoine Donnell movies from François Truffaut, a fantastic series of French movie magic in which the character Antoine represents the alter ego of François Truffaut. Yeah, I would go so far to say that the Paul comics have a lot of French flair, not just because Rabagliati lives in Quebec, the French part of Canada. Whatever that is, I mean a French flair. Maybe a light-hearted ease, a levitating charm. Hard to find the right words in English. So, it's typical for Rabagliati's storytelling technique and abilities, how he contrasts the main quote-unquote of plot of his father-in-law slowly dying in an hospice with precise and casual observations like the interactions of the volunteers in the hospice with that grumpy old man who has to come to grips with his destiny. Or with Paul's father, or how Roland's daughter smoke a joint outside the hospice and laughing uproariously on the cheapest jokes. Actually, no joke at all, but you see how desperately they need for such a relief. And we, the reader as well, for the terminally punch in our gut will not longer wait. Or some totally unrelated stuff that happens meanwhile in the everyday life of the other family members. For an instance, there's an hilariously sequence, hilariously funny sequence over some pages about how Paul tries to get his internet connection done. It's in the early zero years, mind you, so for all of you who are old enough to know, getting your connection to the World Wide Web was a horrible task and a big issue back then. Okay, it's still today sometimes. 
But anyhow. Um, yeah, the song of Roland is actually not the most recent Paul book. It's from 2012. It's just the last book that I've read, Rabeliati. His most recent book has to be Paul Up North, which captures an important phase in Paul's earlier life. I quote from the back. The action takes place in 1975-76, just before and during the Summer Olympics in Montreal. Paul is now, now 16 and in the throes of adolescence. He changes schools, hitchhikes, falls deeply in love, gets dumped, smokes pot and drinks beer. And so on. Yeah, this, uh, this is another favorite of mine. Like, Paul moves out. Speaking of hitting close at home, our elder son has left for university very recently. Remember, Mr. Ginger Ale? Yes, that one. And of course, we all had to leave our family nests sometimes. So we can all relate to this and other topics in these comics. And speaking of favorites, all of the Paul's books actually are my favorites. Paul has a summer job. A funny and touching story about, yes, Paul having a summer job. Looking out for kids in a camp. A job that obviously has changed Paul's and supposedly Rabagliati's life. The first book I, re I read was Paul in the Country, a thin memoir about his childhood and I was hooked. Paul in the Country, like the other earlier Paul books, were published by Drawn and Quarterly. His more recent books were put out by Conundrum Press. But despite the format and thickness and build uh, changes more or less slightly from book to book, they have all that certain retro Paul feel. And retro is, of course, one of the words to describe Rabagliati's way of cartooning. It's pretty old fashioned reminding me of book illustrations from the 50s or 60s. Very poignant, fluid and precise, nevertheless obviously still trying to improve. I believe wholeheartedly the statement on the back of some of the books that Paul is in Quebec even more popular than Asterix. His Paul series is a very human, entertaining, funny and touching portrait of family life in Quebec, but not just in Quebec, from the end of the 60s up to the beginning of our century. Just one of my favorite comic series ever, period. Thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.